This vlog is sponsored by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos by real everyday cruisers, including us. We love to post there. Bam. Rolling. Hey cruisers. Guess what today is? It is embarkation day. Welcome to San Francisco. We just got off the freeway and we are making our way down into the city, into the Embarcadero area. And my nav says that it's gonna take us 23 minutes to go the remaining 2.7 miles to the ship. So we thought we'd say hello and get this vlogging party started. So if you can tell from the sound of my voice, it has been a little bit of a difficult day. I'm experiencing severe allergies and as a result, I have a terrible cough had to go to the drugstore and get some cough suppressant so I could even talk. And now I'm feeling a lot better. So we just made the drive from Gilroy up to San Francisco. It is gorgeous, 72 degrees outside and sunny. Doesn't get any better than this in San Francisco. There is zero marine layer right now and it's gorgeous. It's about 11 o'clock. We're a little bit, running a little bit later than usual, just a little bit of a slow start, but we're really excited. We are, if we haven't mentioned it yet, we are going on the Grand Princess for a 10 night Alaska cruise, round trip San Francisco. We're gonna be visiting Ketchikan, Skagway, Juneau, and on the way back down, we're gonna be visiting Victoria, British Columbia, and I think I might be in the wrong lane right now, so I might have to change lanes. But anyways, <clears throat> yep, I gotta change lanes, guys. Um, next time we see you, we'll probably be showing you around uh, the baggage drop-off area if we can and also the parking area for the port of san francisco we are cruising out of pier 27 today but there is no real parking at the pier so we're going to be parking at um 80 francisco and we're going to try to explain that process to you guys a little bit because it's kind of confusing for people who have never cruised out of san francisco before so we'll see you in a little bit Pier 27 San Francisco is a hot mess. We couldn't find a porter. My husband almost got hit by a car and it took forever. So it is now um, 11.45 and you just have to build in extra, massive amounts of extra time if you're cruising out of San Francisco. It's just very metropolitan, very crowded, very unorganized. There's just no infrastructure for the pickup that's happening here of people who are getting off the ship and the drop off of people who are coming in. So I gotta go, cause I gotta go get our parking panda directions. So we'll show you guys where to park if you come to San Francisco port. So like I mentioned, there is no parking in at the port feet, of San Francisco. The destination is on your left. Yay, the destination is here. Okay, so you have to park at 80 Francisco Street if you are going to the port of San Francisco and it is right here. We are um, about maybe a block away from the cruise port, but you have to take a few turns. So what you do is you get online and you make a reservation with Parking Panda or M Park for 80 Francisco Street. Unfortunately, it's like 16 bucks a day. And I'm gonna talk to this nice lady, so one more moment. So the parking garage is right behind us and we're walking like two blocks to the ship. It is such a pretty day in San Francisco. My only wish is that we were running a little bit earlier today. So what I thought was like a block walk is more like a half a mile, but there is the ship. And that is where we came from, somewhere over yonder. <laughs> anyway, it's quite a hoof, so you definitely do want to drop off your luggage if it's heavy before you park at 80 Francisco. Moral of the story, drop off your luggage. Pretty big guy, green light, green light, go. Made it inside the concourse, kind of see outside. The terminal is beautiful here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be filming, so we'll keep this short. All right, priority check in. That was smooth, security was smooth. So now, nice young man is helping us to get our cruise cards and our little map and get on board. Soon as we got our cards, we got to board. So here we go, crossing the gangplank. Woo woo! This is happening! Yay, we made it! Here we go! Here we go! One, two, three! Woo! All right. 
right, we made it on board and we're gonna take a look around the room. We have an inside cabin on this cruise because it saved us like two to three thousand dollars, you guys. So maybe not ideal, but but we're used to it. And we have a secret door right out the back of the ship that takes us out to the terrace pool that is literally maybe 20 feet away. So we'll show you that in a bit, but let's take a look around the room. We're excited to be on board. Okay, so when you first walk into an inside cabin on Grand Princess, it looks a little bit like this. We have a quad room, even though there's only three of us. First thing you see here is the closet. Nice supply of hangers, life vests, and of course we just have our bags kind of sitting there because my husband ran off to go do the ship tour. Okay, back of the door, full length mirror, which is really nice. It's kind of nice, huh? So maybe we'll do some of our outfit of the day videos in here. And this is the full length closet with shelves. That one's a little high. That's going to be my husband's. And then the safe, which appears to be a combination operated. So this is not a credit card operated. Okay. And then a series of shelves going all the way down to the floor. And we'll take a quick look at the restroom. Okay. Pretty standard restroom. Smells like vinegar, and it has shelves just on the one side here of the bathroom. And those are the amenities for now anyway. I'm not seeing the robes here yet. We did ask for robes, but before we leave, let me show you the shower. Pretty standard, nice and tall. I've seen smaller, I've seen bigger, and crazy turbo flush cruise toilet. And then we have our two beds here. Now, when you have upper bunks, they will not allow you to push these beds together. So something that you've probably seen before in our vlogs, there's the second bed, which we won't be using. Okay, and then of course we have over here, the flat screen TV, which is usually showing Love Boat reruns, but it's not today. It's a nice flat screen, it's pretty big too. And if I'm not mistaken, there's probably an outlet up there. Anyways, okay, over here we have, the um the cup that comes with the soda package and then we have the mini fridge let's take a look at the mini fridge let's see if it's empty it just has water in it so that's nice so we can put our Lacroix in there that will be cool and then we have our standard little vanity table here with a remote telephone hair dryer and it looks like some other little things here shark excursion information a card for our stateroom steward and some onboard deals. It's pretty much it with the cabin. Pretty tiny. This is going to be our home for 10 nights. Scott Singer of Scott Singer Cruises here on YouTube told us all about a secret back door on Grand Princess that takes you out to the terrace pool, I think it's called. So my son and I are going to go check it out right now. Supposedly it's right out that door. Look at that. Looks like heaven rays. Let's go. Let's go check it out. You ready? Okay, 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 okay we got this. Is it out there, son? It's, it's going to pull There it is, the secret back door. Is this the secret back door? This is so cool. It is the secret back door. And look at oh, that, it goes cool. right to the terrace pool. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Can you just walk in that? This is awesome. Okay, so there's the little door. Very cool. So pretty on the back of the ship, you guys, right now. Look at San Francisco behind us. I need to get my shades on. But how gorgeous is that with that big, huge flag blowing? So pretty. Something going on out there. <laughs> One thing that I've never really done before is vlog myself unpacking and getting our room kind of organized. So I thought I would show you guys that. So I've just opened up this giant suitcase down here on the floor and I'm kind of taking everything out of it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take our outerwear out of this giant compression bag. You guys will not believe how much is in this thing. It's really funny. My husband got out the compression bags and the pump. So let's open it and just see how big everything gets and how fast. <laughs> there it goes. Whoa. I don't even think it really does it justice, but that teeny tiny little pancake 
it was pretty much all of our giant bulky outerwear. So basically, I'm just getting all of this stuff hung up in the closet. And oh, they're making the announcement for the mustard drill. So we're probably gonna have to cut this short, but I started to get everything organized, put things in the fridge and put things in the drawers and then put things in the closet. I do want to show you guys what the closet looks like full. Come with me really quick. They're not calling us. <laughs> so the closet's pretty small, but I'm kind of getting it all squared away. I just want to give you guys a general idea of how many hangers are in here because I know a lot of people are curious. Princess is pretty good about hangers and there's a ton of pant hangers and then probably about 10 regular nice wooden hangers too and they're just real hangers they're not the type that you get in a hotel room where you like you know you have to put the that little hook into the bar so you don't steal the hanger so i really appreciate that about princess it's really nice so this is us getting organized it's definitely not done yet but i'm anxious to unpack before the mustard drill today i just feel like i want to get settled in probably because it's a smaller room so um we're gonna head to the mustard drill we're underway in San Francisco with our telltale trail of seagulls following behind. It's so warm, you guys. This is not normal for San Francisco. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to enjoy Sail Away, go to one of the upper decks, and get a little bit of dancing on. See you there. their gin martinis and I'm going for the Bronx which is Tanqueray perfect vermouth and orange juice. Do you think it's going to be good or too sweet for me? Let's we'll find out. Proper martini glass and everything. Mm. No, you're the camera. Ronnie, that is so good. Thank you so much. Oh no, I think I have a new favorite. All right, the mustard drill is over. We've sailed under the Golden Gate Bridge. Our sun is swimming in not a warm, but a hot, heated outdoor pool. We're under the elements right now. It's so beautiful. And they are setting up for... <laughs> setting up for Movies Under the Stars. It's a gorgeous night in San Francisco. Awesome sail away. You have to check out the big screen right here. It's amazing. and we changed our our assigned 5.30 dining time to a seven o'clock standing reservation in the anytime dining room, which I didn't know you could do, but apparently if you're willing to give up your 5.30 table, you can have pretty much anything you want. So we got a reservation at seven. So um, our plan is to let our son swim. He's been wanting to swim all day, but it hasn't really been possible. And then we're going to go enjoy the Platinum Lounge. It's at the at the club where Skywalkers would normally be on one of these ships and have reduced price drinks and guacamole and chips and then head over to dinner. I'm not even sure that we're going to change clothes tonight for dinner. Usually we do, but I'm feeling like this is a really, really casual cruise with a pretty casual vibe. So maybe we'll just stay in these clothes and see how it goes. But 
Right now, the little man is just climbing into the hot tub. <laughs> He's having the time of his life. Just him and one little boy are enjoying this amazing pool. The covered pool is actually closed, and so are the hot tubs, but this is so warm out here and so quiet, and it's not very windy yet that it really doesn't matter. So we're um, keeping really, really low speed until we get out of San Francisco. They said that once you go into the Golden Gate, and you motor along until about 9.30 in whale protected waters. So you have to be really careful and go really slow. So not a lot of movement on the ship tonight and not a lot of wind. It's really, really beautiful. We're having a very relaxing time and starting to get into the groove. remember our star princess vlogs from last year <clears throat> where we discovered the little loyalty lounge that they have so on the grand princess they don't have skywalker's lounge they took that big old <laughs> arch off of the ship and they replaced it with this adorable venue called club one five is it club one five honey and it's this cute swanky aft lounge on deck 15 that overlooks the aft pool. And between five and seven, if you're platinum or elite, I think something like that. I don't really know the loyalty levels that well. You can come back here and get drink specials and free snacks before dinner. And tonight I got the Mayan Mule for $6.50. That's a pretty good deal for a cruise drink. And it's basically a Moscow Mule with tequila. And it's really, really good. A little bit sweet for my taste, but really tasty. And it's chips and guacamole tonight. So kind of a Mexican theme, but anyway, this is the most adorable venue. We'll of course show you around a little bit in the vlog today and in our ship tour. It's just the best way to kind of get a snack and a nice deal on a cocktail as an appreciation for being a loyal princess cruiser before you go to dinner. We will be here probably just about every single night. Cheers. Our first day has flown by. I cannot remember a time when I was more tired than I am today at the end of a day one. I know that battling a cough and having not been feeling well, maybe having allergies has been a factor in that, but it has just been a very, very, very long day. Overall, the day was great and our princess experience has been amazing. I love that we had chocolates on our pillows when we came back to our room after dinner and the good old classic come back new reusable bags with the sea witch on the back on the bed, awesome. So a lot of things went really well today. Um, our servers in the main dining room at dinner were amazing. We got a wonderful table. Our um, cabin steward is adorable. His name is Mark Anthony and he is so sweet and so polite and so high energy. It's unbelievable. Um, the only thing I think that we wish would have gone differently is that we would have gotten an earlier start and been on the ship earlier, but overall embarkation was amazing. The day was great and we're really excited to get into the cruise so be sure to stick around you guys and come back and watch the rest of the vlogs because today is just the beginning and we are going to Ketchikan, Juno, Skagway and Victoria, British Columbia so that is going to be so much fun. We're hoping for good weather. There has been a lot of rain the last few weeks. I'm hearing over and over again how cold and rainy it has been so I guess we'll just have to see what the weather brings and what kind of surprises are coming, but we have so many fun episodes coming for you guys and really appreciate you tuning in for another awesome Embarkation Day vlog. Till next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye.